And say, spell your name and give us your title. My name is Bud Mertz, M-E-R-T-Z. I am a firefighter with the city of Greensburg, as well as the uh, county uh, public safety director for Westmoreland County. Talk about what it means to be here today for you. Well, today's a, really a, a, a sad day, but you know, a, a day that you have to rejoice in the life of a terrific person. It's hard to say exactly one word that can describe uh, Chief, Chief Hutchison. Uh, first of all, uh, for the Greensburg Fire Department, he was the father to many people. He was uh, the second father to us all. Uh, and uh, growing up in the fire service, uh, we used him as a uh, role model, definitely, uh, uh, as, as we uh, progressed in the fire service, and even in our professional lives. He, he just had a tremendous impact personally on, on every fireman in, in Greensburg and the, in the regional area as well. Um, he's, uh, but, you know, when you look at the community, I mean, the community is mourning as well because he was, he was more than just a fire chief. He was uh, uh, definitely a community leader and a very strong community leader. No matter what level of government you look at, he was involved in it, in, uh, in leading, leading it. He loved Greensburg. He, uh, he would do anything in the world for Greensburg. Uh, and he would, uh, uh, and, he, and he drove uh, to make Greensburg better every day. And if that's on the city level, if, that, if that's on the county level, the regional level, or the state level, even the federal level, uh, Chief Hutchison was involved in, uh, in, in pushing Greensburg and pushing the fire service uh, to the next level. And he, and he did that for many years. Um, besides that, he was a compassionate man. Everybody knows of him being the uh, rough uh, gunning sergeant, but uh, the true uh, Ed Hutchison was a very compassionate man that would do anything in the world for anybody uh, to help uh, to help him out, and uh, and he has a tremendous history in that as well. Dedication. I mean, you talk about how long he went for. I don't think you could find anybody that served as long and gave so much. And it's and, and you're right. It is dedication and being such a strong leader and being driven so hard. He uh, uh, there was nobody could replace him. Either. He's touched a lot. I'm sorry. He's touched a lot of people's lives over the years. Talk a little bit about some of the things that he's done. Well, that's that's just it. He's uh, he's a. Uh, I can't describe his passion in just a few sentences. Uh, I mean, but he's uh, uh, he did tremendous work uh, again, not only for the fire service, but uh, being a father to a lot, lot of us uh, firemen, but uh, just the, the uh, community in itself. Um, he uh, uh, any time that there was somebody in need, he would run. He would run the show of uh, getting them help. Uh, I can go back way, uh, way when I was younger. You know, we would do like uh, if somebody had medical uh, uh, needed medical assistance or anything like that, and we were in financial straits because of medical problem. You know, we would run uh, run uh, boot drives for them and, and all that. I mean, he he. Uh, it's just it's it's hard to say. I, I'd be here for hours to try to. to, to describe the amount of passion that he had for uh, humankind and, uh, and how he helped everybody. Is the final farewell fitting for him or would he be mad to see all this <laughs> Well, you know, that's, that's, uh, that's interesting. I mean, this is deserving for him uh, because he's in the hearts of everybody. But it's also, uh, uh, he was never one, he was very modest. He was never one to uh, ever take any accolades, uh, and uh, I'm sure that uh, he's uh, cussing a little right now. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Thank you. That seems Thank appropriate. You.